Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a fun get ready with me using all clean luxury beauty brands. I've got some new gorgeous products from Cure Weiss that I'm going to be using today as well as some favorites from Victoria Beckham. I recently picked up a few of her new posh lipstick colors. That's one of my favorite lipstick formulas. So I'm excited to show you those lip swatches as well as using a few of my tried and true clean beauty products that I really enjoy. And I'm so excited to share a new discovery from California. And this is Lee's Fragrances. This is a small niche brand. They only have three perfumes that they have launched so far and I'm going to give you a little rundown of all three of them. I got the sample set and give you a little more information about the brand. So if you are interested in seeing how I created this look using all luxury clean beauty brands including perfume, then let's go ahead and get started. Good morning everyone! We're gonna have a little fun playing with clean beauty today. And one of the things that I have fallen in love with, and I took this to LA with me and I've been using quite a bit. I don't know if you can see, but this is the Macron Active. It is the high performance tinted moisturizer. And you guys, this is not your typical tinted moisturizer. It has got a bit more coverage than kind of most of my tinted moisturizers. And it feels fantastic on the skin, very moisturizing, but it also has some firming benefits. And this was my go-to. So the way that I like to use it is you do not need to use a full pump. So just little goes a long way. So although this is expensive, you don't need to use a ton of it. And I kind of learned the hard way. I would just put a full pump and then kind of smear it all over my skin and be like, ooh, this is a little bit too much. So I take about half a pump and then I start to just rub this into the skin and then I will buff it in with a brush. But because it has sort of a moisturizer base to it, it's easy to just use your fingertips and the warmth of your fingertips will really mesh it into the skin. So, okay, after I put on about half a pump with my fingertips, I will just kind of go in with a little extra in areas that I feel like I need it. Now they do sell a concealer, but I've kind of found that this foundation is working well underneath my eyes as well. And I've just been using a little bit, just a little thin layer of the actual foundation and finding that it so far is doing pretty well underneath my eyes, but that might be my next purchase. And I've also heard that they have an amazing lip filler and I just got an email that it is on sale. They have 15% off their website and I kind of want to try it. So if you guys have tried that lip filler from Macron Actives, let me know. That is definitely intriguing to me. Now this only comes in three different colors. This does have technology that's going to adapt to your skin tone. And I did initially purchase the light and it honestly was way too light. So that is for your fair skinned beauties. If you are someone that is light, light to medium, even medium to tan, I think the medium is going to work great for you. And then they've got a deep shade. And again, the technology of this foundation is meant to be stretchy, that it can work amongst many different skin tones. So I'm hoping that is the case, but I will tell you that the light was too light for my skin tone. It was definitely very fair. Whereas the medium seems to come across maybe a tad dark when I first put it on, but as you will see as we're finishing off the face, it will totally kind of mesh in and adapt to my skin tone. So this Macron Actives is actually a fave foundation. I just love the coverage. It looks natural, but it does kind of cover up any imperfections as well. Okay, next I'm going to warm up my skin. And one of the other items I took to LA with me was the Victoria Beckham. This is her matte bronzing brick. And I have it in shade 
2. And the contour is in Honey. And then we've got the Warm Shade in Soleil over here. And I have been using this pretty much daily. So I'm using my Armani Sculpt Brush. This is one of my oldies but goodies. And I'm going to just dip it into the deeper shade over here first. And, and I'm going to kind of create a little shadow here. Kind of from the top of my ear. I'm just coming here and sculpting out some fake cheekbones here and don't worry I'm gonna blend everything in then I go into the Soleil side and again this is a matte bronzer so, so it's not gonna be super glowy I'm just gonna go ahead and fake a bit of tan here Okay, we bronzed up the skin that I'm so excited because Keir Weiss sent me some goodies. So, so this made my whole day because I'm a huge fan of Keir Weiss. I've used her products for years and they sent this beautiful blush in their new kind of recyclable material. I have the old packaging that was a bit heavy, but now they have come up with this recyclable material, a lit little bit lighter, and they sent me the blush in Blossoming, and I love these cream blushes. I have another one, I wanna say it's in Desired or something like that, that's like the perfect bronzy. This one is this beautiful blossoming pink rose tone, and I'm gonna go ahead, put that on, my cheeks. These are so easy to use. They blend right into the skin. Don't worry. I'm going to blend out this a little bit more on my finger than I thought. And then I'm just taking my It Cosmetics brush. And then I'm just going to kind of dab this into the skin. Focusing kind of on the apple of the eye and then just blending up just a bit to sort of lift the face. Give me a little bit of a flush here. We're going to stick with a pretty easy eye today. And one of my favorite shadows from them is Charmed. And this is just a great neutral shade. I like to use it as a single one and done eye. I will use a bit of my bronzer as well. But I'm going to start with this shade here. And, and I'm just going to windshield wipe that into the crease. This is just going to create a little bit of shadow And this is just the perfect kind of one and done shade. Adds a little bit of depth to the eye, but it's not too dark. So it's going to kind of keep the eye look a little bit more fresh. I'm so excited because they sent me this Keir Weiss Eye Pencil. And this one is in blue. And as many of you know, blue, slate, those kind of eyeliners are my favorite. I think they sort of pop your eyes and I've been dying to try these. So, so the packaging is absolutely stunning. Love the little cap here. And let me give you a swatch of navy. So pretty. So I'm going to take a little bit of this and tight line near the lashes first and then we can deepen it up a bit. I really like this color. Then I'm gonna go in on the top lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out a little bit of this blue near the lash line.
Okay, I have defined the eyes with a little pop of that blue eyeliner. I really liked it. It is not super creamy, like you have a lot of control with it. I recently picked up the Navy Noir from Victoria Beckham, which I love as well, but that one is definitely creamy. I can kind of overdo it really quickly, whereas this one's got a little bit more tightness, I would say, to it, so you have just a teeny bit more control. I wouldn't say that it's dry. I would just say it's not quite as creamy as the Victoria Beckham, which I love that one as well. I just have to be a little bit more light-handed with that. So I really like this one. The Victoria Beckham one is going to give you just a bit more of a dramatic glam, whereas this one I have just a bit more control over. The Cure Weiss just launched a new clean mascara called the Impossible Mascara. And of course, it's got beautiful luxury packaging. Let's take a peek at the brush. So this is my favorite kind of brush, so I'm excited to give this a try. The Impossible Mascara is a certified organic breakthrough a high-impact, long-lasting, volumizing formula powered by nourishing ingredients that are organically farmed. The versatile brush features a curved side for endlessly buildable volume and a flat side for length, definition, and detail. Lashes stay silky soft and resilient all day and authentic to the real you. You can layer without limit for a remarkably dramatic effect that won't smudge. So you guys, this really gave me some really nice fluttery natural lashes, a lot of volume, and it is even curling my lashes. Already out of all the clean mascaras that I have tried, this one is already getting an A plus for the brush, for the buildability, and it really does lengthen and curl your lashes. So I have to say I'm kind of impressed with this. Let me finish the other eye. Okay guys, here is this mascara and I have to say I am super impressed with the mascara. Another cool thing about Cure Weiss products is that it has a refill. So this packaging is refillable, but out of all these kind of clean mascaras that I've ever tried, I have to say I'm super impressed with this one and I really like the way that it lengthened and curled my eyelashes. So this is a total win for me. And I just love the brush. I love the finish of my lashes and they also do not feel dry or crunchy or anything like that. They actually feel very kind of soft and fluttery. Then I am gonna use my favorite highlighter and that is from Westman Atelier. We're using all luxury clean beauty today. And this is in Peau de Peche. And you guys, this is just long time favorite. I'm actually about to hit pan. And this is the color of Peau de Peche. I'm gonna use a little on the tops of my cheekbones. And then I'm gonna actually add a teeny bit to my eye look. So just gonna use my fingertip at the top. And then I am going to just use my It Cosmetics and bounce that on to the skin. Taking a little bit on my fingertip and I'm just going to add a little bit of that lightness right kind of from the inner corner to the middle, to the iris. And then whatever's left right here, I'm just gonna add a teeny bit to my brow bone. 
just on the outer third here. Okay, we've got the basics on the face, and then I'm going to do a bit of a lip swatch here. I've got a couple different clean lip products. First, I've got the Cure Weiss. This is this beautiful lip gloss, and this is in the shade Intimate, which is a beautiful pink. And I love this again because these are refillable, beautiful packaging. I'm going to go ahead and put Intimate on. And this is the shade Intimate. And then I picked up three new shades of the Victoria Beckham Posh lipsticks. So these posh lipsticks are my favorite. And I wanted to know if you guys want me to do like my collection of my posh lipsticks just as a single video. Let me know because I have several. I and picked them up in three different shades. And this one is Spark. And Spark is a mid-tone warm rose. Then we have Twist. And Twist is a light neutral pink. And then I got Jump over here. And Jump is a mid-toned cool rose. And to be honest with you, you guys, I love all three of these colors. They are just right in my wheelhouse and they are so very pretty. I'm going to start with Twist, which is the light neutral pink. This is Twist. This pairs well with the lip definer in number two. Next is Spark, and Spark is your mid-tone warm rose. And this is Spark. This pairs well with lip definer number three. Then I'm ending with Jump, which is a cool mid-toned rose. This is Jump. This also pairs well with lip liner number three. I just kind of wanted to show you them on their own in case you have your own favorite neutral kind of lip liners. All three of these would work great with your favorite neutral lip liner. So I do have lip liner two and three. I tend to use three the most. It's kind of my go-to lip liner and it also works with all three of these lipsticks. Okay, this is the final look of the day using all clean luxury beauty and lots of favorites in the mix here. And of course, I'm going to end with fragrance of the day. So while I was in LA, I discovered Lee's fragrance. This is a beautiful California made brand. These fragrances are made from exceptionally high quality conscious ingredients from around the world and natural grain alcohol farmed in the USA. These fragrances are formulated without preservatives, phthalates, dyes, sulfates, and they are cruelty free, vegan, and allergy tested. So I was super intrigued by this brand. I'm all about California right now. And I love the story of this company because it is founded by two women, Elisa and Leslie. They literally grew up minutes from each other. I believe it was in Marin County, but they didn't know each other until later in life. They both grew up fascinated by fragrance, later on met in life, and now they have created their own 
own brand. So far they have three fragrances and I picked up their little sample set. It comes beautifully packaged and if you go to their website it just pretty much sets the tone for their fragrances. So far they have Bow, which is a hidden bohemian tucked into the redwoods or the coastal side of Mount Tam secluded from the world. Elemi and tobacco float over pine needles, cedar, incense, and vanilla. So I've already been playing around with these fragrances and I have to say the descriptions totally match what you actually smell and I like all three of them. Bo is a beautiful earthy fragrance. It definitely smells like you are out in the forest. Like I definitely smell that pine needles. I definitely smell the pine. This is very woody, a bit earthy. It has a touch of sweet tobacco in here as well as when it dries down, it becomes a beautiful kind of woody, vanilla, earthy scent. Next we have Rose Struck and and this one is described as Roses Reckless for Spring and this is a very authentic green fresh rose. Frozen blooms encased in ice, fresh cassis and tangerine form vivid winter clouds above crisp matcha tea and big rose energy. So this does have an icy quality to it. It's a very young fresh rose. This is not a deep jammy scent. So this one definitely has some icy crisp qualities about it as I was saying kind of like young roses and then it has this matcha tea in the mid and that definitely balances out the and that definitely balances out the cassis and tangerine so it definitely kind of starts out crisp and a little bit icy and then that matcha tea almost brings in a little bit of astringency to the scent and then it's so funny because as this dries down on your skin it definitely warms up it's almost as if the ice caps are melting and then you do start to get that deeper rose scent but at first it's going to start out very young and then it's almost as if it warms up and blossoms on your skin really interesting and super pretty all three of these are super wearable and then last but not least we have studied and I believe believe this is the one that I'm going to get a full bottle of. I'm still on the fence because I actually like all three of them. But studied is described as a room of one's own, a quiet morning indoors, reading and daydreaming in a pool of sunlight. Ambrette and pear drift over carrot seed orris in warm cashmere. And one thing that I'm noticing is that I actually really like the note pear in my fragrances. It adds a bit of sweetness, but as you know, pears aren't super sweet. Even when they're at their peak, out of all the fruits out there, they're not one of the most high sugary sweet fruit out there. And I think maybe that's what I like. It has a bit of sweetness in here, but of course the base is going to have this warm kind of cashmere feel to it. This really is comfort in a bottle. I love that this is described as being in your own space, maybe reading a good book with a cup of tea and that sunlight is just kind of washing over your body, not too hot, just that kind of perfect hit of sunshine, a little shot of vitamin D in here. So it's got pear and ambrette at the beginning so that ambrette can be almost a little bit medicinal. To me there's something very comforting about Ambrette, I like it and a lot of my favorite fragrances include Ambrette. There's a cleanness to it. Then I'm of course then of course it's got the pear with a tad of sweetness. This is interesting because it's got carrot and orris and, and both of those can add a little bit more depth, a little bit of earthiness to it. But again, carrots are a little bit sweet. Orris can add a little bit of a buttery feel into fragrances. And then in the base, we've got Abroxin and Cashmere Accord. Those are always going to give you that warmth and comfort. So, so when you purchase the sample set, it is $30. Shipping came super fast. 
then you can use that $30 towards a full bottle of the perfume. And I'm having a hard time. I'm like, oh, which one should I get? I think Studied would be the one that I would reach for most because it's just right in my wheelhouse. I do really like Bow and Rose Struck as well. So I think I'll just pick one to start with and collect them along the way. But just wanted to give a shout out to this brand. So this was a new discovery for me and I always love to support small local businesses. So that was kind of exciting as well. So I highly recommend checking out Lee's fragrances. Absolutely stunning, all three of them. So wearable, all very different. I feel like there's going to be something for everyone as well. This is hard. I literally do not know which one to put on. Okay, I wore studied the other day, so we're going to put on Rose Struck. I think that bow is going to be beautiful when the weather's just a bit cooler. I can really see that one shining when it's just a teeny bit cooler. But since I'm eking out the last few days of summer, I'm going to go ahead and put Rose Struck on. Mm. So this concludes my get ready with me using clean luxury products as well as introducing you to a clean fragrance brand. So excited. I'm just getting back into the groove of work and I have lots more videos coming your way. Please stay tuned and have a fantastic weekend.